Hey guys, it's Miss Candace. Um, this week we're still talking about creepy crawlies. So today we're going to read a book about butterflies by National Geographic Kids. Butterflies. They glide into gardens and dance through deserts. What are butterflies looking for? Flowers to feed on. When a butterfly lands, it tastes the flower with the tips of its feet. This flower tastes sweet. Deep inside, it is sugary liquid called nectar. The butterfly unrolls a long tube on its head and pokes into the flower. Slurp! The butterfly uses the tube-like straw to suck up the nectar. What's for lunch? Some butterflies drink nectar from almost any flower. Others are picky eaters. They only feed on certain flowers. A few butterflies prefer to dine on rotting fruit or even dead bugs. Here are some butterflies with their favorite foods. It's raining. To keep dry, a butterfly folds up its wings and perches below a leaf. At night, a butterfly hangs upside down to sleep. To warm up in the morning, a butterfly spreads its wings wide and soaks up the sun. A butterfly's life may seem fancy free, but at any moment, <gasps> swoop, a hungry monkey might sneak up and snatch it. A mouse might try to munch it. A bird might nab it. A lizard might zap it. How can butterflies stay safe? Some hide by blending in with the world around them. Some have spots on their wings that look like eyes. Eye spots scare away enemies. Boo! A rainbow of colors. A butterfly's wings are covered with thousands of tiny powdery scales. These scales create the insect's beautiful colors and patterns. Here are some butterflies from around the world. How many of them have eye spots? A mother butterfly flies from plant to plant, tasting them with her feet. She's looking for one her babies can eat. When she finds the right plant, she lays her eggs on it. The eggs hatch out and creep and out creep the babies. The babies are tiny caterpillars, very hungry caterpillars. A caterpillar gobbles up the plant it's on. It eats and eats and grows and grows. Wriggle. It's so big, its skin splits. The caterpillar wriggles out of it, then it gets too big for its new skin. Again and again, this happens. Eat, grow, split, wriggle. One day, the caterpillar hangs upside down from a leaf or a twig. It makes a hard, thin shell around its body. The shell is called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, something amazing happens. The caterpillar changes into a butterfly. After days or weeks, the chrysalis splits open and out crawls the new butterfly. The butterfly's wings are crumpled and wet, but soon they straighten out and dry. Fly, butterfly! Now the butterfly is ready to take off to fly, to flash like a jewel in the sunlit sky. The end. Bye, guys!